favorite states to go hunting in. Year after year, I've had incredible success. In fact, this year I was headed there during the bow season and I had high hopes. Well, we're out here in Illinois and this is our first morning on the stand. We've got an absolutely beautiful location. A front's moving in, the temperatures are finally dropping. Now, although we didn't see any bucks this morning, every day is gonna get better. We're towards the end of October. It's gonna get cooler, the rut's getting closer, but I think this is a pretty good spot. A lot of times people see the shows and they think every time you go to Illinois, it works out perfectly. Now, yes, they have the big bucks, but on this hunt, it just wasn't working out. I had been putting in my time on an archery hunt, sitting dark to dark in some fabulous locations, and unfortunately, just was not paying off. Now the bucks, oh, they were there, and they were big. In fact, we had our cutty backs out, and we got video of an absolute monster that had been coming through. Trouble was, a lot of these bucks were moving during the night, and that's the only time they were moving. And that can happen. It's one of those things. October, those big bucks don't move quite as much during daylight hours. Now, I wasn't only just kind of disappointed because this was my archery hunt time, but what I was really hoping for is to be out there and scouting for Kelly, a good friend of mine who was going to be coming up next. I love deer hunting because it's what I've done since I was young and it's always been a tradition for my family and my dad and I like to go out hunting together. I always hear about Melissa hunting at Golden Triangle so I was really excited to go there and I've heard that they have super nice deer and just looking in the lodge you can see all the deer that they have. They have great genetics and really big deer. Now Kelly Blonigan has become a very close friend of mine. She is an incredible hunter who grew up in a small town near me and she was going to be coming out and I was okay if all my luck went to her. But until then, while I still was going out, I was putting in my time, testing out different stands and it just wasn't working out. I had does coming through, I had small bucks. We were in some absolutely perfect looking places, but the bucks just weren't out. It was still during that time of year when big bucks, they don't just always show themselves. So one of the things that I like to do to try to help get those deer moving during the daytime, well, I put out some Wildlife Research Center Magnum Mock Scrapes. Now these scrapes really work great because you are putting down scent and it's only daytime only. They'll only drip during the day. The way it works, the bag inside expands and it'll drip just during the day so any bucks in the area could come by, smell that scrape and realize if they were there at night, this buck was coming during the day and sometimes it'll flip that switch and get those deer coming during daylight hours. So I was trying everything I had. I was putting in my time, sitting dark to dark, just was not working. I'd love to tell everyone that there's 160s behind every single tree out there. Simply not the case. You can be hunting good ground, the deer are there, the trouble is they don't always come out when you're hunting. This segment was brought to you by Sportsman's Alliance. Our heritage, our fight. Protecting hunting from coast to coast. Did you know that after defending bear hunting in Maine, the Sportsman's Alliance squared off with the Humane Society of the United States in court and won. HSUS declared in open court that they needed the ruling because they were planning to come back and stop bear hunting in Maine in the future. Just another fun fact showing you how sportsmen and women are helping make a difference. There's a lot of different people that you meet out hunting. It's one of my favorite parts of just being in the industry, all the great people. But one person that I've been able to meet who has really touched me and become one of my good friends is Kelly Blonigan. There's not that many people that really have that much of a passion for hunting and for shooting as someone like Kelly does. Now this is my next co-host, and isn't she beautiful? 
Kick about. I live a pretty hectic life. I'm traveling all over, running around, setting up hunts, editing, thinking things were really, really tough. And then I got a call from Wishes and More. Now what Carla asked pretty much blew me away. They had a young girl who grew up close to my hometown whose wish was to hunt with me and she wanted to hunt in Illinois at Golden Triangle Whitetail. I couldn't believe it. All of a sudden, I'm thinking all the things that are happening in my life, that's nothing compared to some of the struggles that she has going and yet her wish is to come hunting with me. But Kelly has was diagnosed with Friedrich's ataxia and she um, is going to be losing her ability to walk, amongst other things. And so it is important for her to do what she can while she can. And when she described her wish, she also said that she wanted to mount it. And, and why did you tell us? So when the diagnosis gets farther along, then I can see what I've accomplished. And this young lady is accomplishing a lot. And when I found out that this little girl's wish was to go hunting with me, I realized my show had actually touched someone. I didn't even know about it, but it had made a difference in someone's life, and now this was my opportunity to give back. When they first said that I was gonna be on TV, I was like, uh, no, I'm not very good at talking in front of cameras, but it was more about the hunt to me than being on TV. It's really awesome that cherish that time with somebody else and to be able to spend time with another hunter. Last year I took them out. We had a wonderful time. In fact, we hunted together three times trying to get her a big buck. We all had one goal in mind and that was to get Kelly a big buck. But unfortunately, it didn't happen. But we did have a lot of fun. He's down. Yes. I've never had so many like nice people to talk to. Never had so many people that enjoy hunting and everybody encourages each other. We got her a beautiful bearded hen turkey that she was able to shoot. Plus she got to shoot a doe. But her dream was to shoot a big buck in Illinois. I knew Golden Triangle Whitetail was the place for her to do it. The trouble is, well, it just didn't pan out last year. So we all invited her to come on back. We had all been scouting and we were confident Kelly was going to hit it during the perfect time. Now between when I was there and when she was coming, there was actually one solid week where the temperatures dropped, the bucks went from being nocturnal to coming out during the day, and of course, no hunters in camp that week. Big surprise, but the cutty back showed it and I was very confident that when Kelly came in, she was going to have the best hunt possible. This segment was brought to you by Boss Buck. For the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market, choose Boss Buck Feeders. Now you're getting serious. Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Cutty Back Digital. More deer, fewer blanks. Hard-hitting Easton Arrows. Golden Triangle Whitetail. Winchester, celebrating 150 years of legendary excellence. Send killer gold with Hunt Dry technology. Apply it, dry it, and go hunt. Rage Broadheads, leading the evolution in lethal technology. Convergent Hunting Solutions, where experience, innovation, and passion meet. Sportsman's Alliance, protecting hunting from coast to coast. Engel Coolers, the original high-performance cooler company. And Moose Utility Division, your leader in ATV, UTV accessories. Over time, there are certain hunts that you just can't wait for. Now for years, Illinois has been that hunt for me, but now I've got a whole nother reason that Illinois is so special, because Kelly gets to come hunting with me there and we have had just a wonderful time. I knew what to expect now, so it was super exciting. I was even more excited to come out because Minnesota, we don't have a lot of deer or not very big deer, but when you go to Illinois, it's 
crazy different because there's huge deer there and a lot more deer than you have at home. So just hunting in different areas is, you never know what you're gonna see, but in Golden Triangle, we always know we're gonna see a lot of deer. So when they rolled into camp this year, well, I was excited because we now knew each other. We were starting off just having a blast immediately, eating together in the lodge. Mike was spending time showing her and her dad all the big bucks that we had been seeing right where she was gonna be hunting. So I think if you had to judge a level of confidence, well, we were all right about right here. So we're out here in the Golden Triangle in Illinois and we're sitting in the Princess Castle. Hopefully it will be named Kelly's Castle after I get a big deer, but we'll have to see how that works out. So this year, Kelly and I were gonna be hunting in Illinois during that same time. Now, I wasn't successful earlier with my bow, so we decided her and her dad were gonna to hunt together out of a blind using her crossbow, and I was gonna be up in a tree hunting with my bow, both trying to get one of these big Illinois bucks. Now, if I could tell you that I could push all my good luck to one person, <laughs> Kelly would be the girl to get it. I wanted her to do so well, and I knew we were coming at a good time. So we get out there, they're hunting, and they are seeing buck after buck. I mean, we're talking deer all over the place. We've been seeing huge bucks tonight. There was two really nice shooters. The bucks are chasing the does, and it's a perfect sit out here. She's sitting up in the stand. Her and her dad, Vern, are seeing deer all over the place. They're sitting on a huge food plot. And the trouble is, these deer just aren't coming inside our tree range. Now, the one thing we did have in our favor, every single day was even closer to the rut. So we knew the hunting was just gonna keep getting better. The other thing it told us, well, closer to the rut means these bucks will decoy in. Memory Chase, building our future one child at a time. Memory Chase is all about getting more kids involved and features home video from viewers just like you. This week, we're going to Texas with six-year-old Reese Helm. Hi. Ah, what are, you, what, are we doing, what are we doing out here? I'm gonna practice shooting the deer. Yeah, but, uh, when are we gonna start hunting? In six days. What, what, do, you, what do you want to shoot? A buck. Yeah. You think you're good enough to hit a deer? Uh-huh. How many times have you hit a deer? Every time. You got a kiss for daddy? Mm, I love you. Reese, you just killed your first deer, baby. <gasps> I gotta go get it. Well, baby, we gotta wait. We can't track it just yet. I can't. You can't wait? No. Why not? Because he's so big. Shot your first deer. Can I go take it home and show mommy? You want to take it home and show mama? Yes, and nanny and poppy. What about Ryan? Yes, and Ryan. All right. This segment was brought to you by Convergent Hunting Solutions. Try their electronic game calls today, featuring Bluetooth technology to work right with your smartphone.
Winchester Deadly Passion is presented by Winchester, celebrating 150 years of legendary excellence. Matthews Archery, catch us if you can. Field and Stream, where traditions begin. ScoutLookWeather.com, download the free Scout Look hunting app for your smartphone. Reinhardt, the best archery targets in the world. Analogics, protect your deer herd with the power of science. Winchester, the American legend. Sure Shot Jewelry, check out the Melissa Bachman collection today. And Boss Buck, for the most user-friendly and dependable feeder on the market, now you're getting serious. Closed captioning is brought to you by Cuddyback Digital. Upgrade to Cuddyback and your images will never look better. One of my favorite parts about hunting the rut, it has to be the fact that every single day it just keeps getting better and better and you never know what's gonna happen. Now with that, the best thing to do is hunt all day. Now I'm talking, Kelly is one heck of a hunter. She sits dark to dark. There's so many people that I see that don't even wanna do it and she's out there, no problem, absolutely loving it. I always think that you're never gonna shoot anything going back to the lodge, so might as well stay out. You know, there could be a nice buck walking around at 12, one o'clock, so you never know what's gonna happen. And that's exactly what Kelly and her dad, Vern, were doing. Trouble is, well, they just weren't having the bucks in close enough. So we had a solution for that. We decided this is the time to put out my Dave Smith decoy. It's a perfect looking buck. Now I'm not joking, I have decoyed in probably well over 100 deer with this decoy. In fact, I've been on trips where I've decoyed in 30, 40 different bucks on one occasion. It's incredible. And I knew that with this decoy, that would be a draw for any of those deer that were just too far out. If they're a nice, big, dominant buck, that decoy would bring them right into shooting range. Now here's the deal. Kelly's gonna go up in this blind, you're gonna get a deer, and we're gonna call this yours. <laughs> I can't be here tonight. I'm gonna go sit in a, in a tree stand. I'm bad luck. I can't see anything. Kelly's been seeing all the big bucks, so you're up. What do you got to say for yourself? I don't know. Hopefully it'll work out. Hopefully. Go out. You're gonna oh, do it. It's gonna work out. <laughs> I've never hunted over a decoy for a deer before, so this is a big change, and I didn't think it was actually gonna work, but Melissa said just do it, it's gonna work, and it did. And all of a sudden, a nice, big, mature buck seized their decoy and came right on over. When we first saw this deer, my dad didn't see it at first, so I said, Dad, there's a huge buck coming, and Dad looks over and he saw it, and then we're like, oh, that's a shooter. Let's, and then my dad wasn't recording at that time, so, then he had to think about get, turning on the camera. Her dad realizes oh, the camera's not on, hits it on, and they were able to get the shot on camera in just a beautiful buck. When I saw this deer actually tip over, I was so happy because spent two years in the blind just waiting for this to happen and it was really exciting to get to know that all your work finally paid off. Oh my goodness is right. Wow. <laughs> like oh, we didn't see those extra fights oh, oh, here. Oh yeah. This wow. I didn't see that before. Or this. Look at all the mass on that. What a beautiful buck. And I was just so proud of her. To see someone who's worked so hard, and you know, it's something more than a deer. It's, it's the relationship that we've built, the friendship we've made, just because of the common bond of hunting. I can't believe that Wishes and More set us up. This was way more than I could have ever imagined. I never thought that Melissa and I would become so good of friends. And now we have a friendship that'll last forever, so. This is much more than anything I ever dreamed of. 
in Illinois, it's my favorite spot. I've been able to bring my mom there, see her shoot big bucks, my dad, my brother, my friends, family, everybody gets to come there and it truly is an absolutely amazing place with some huge bucks doesn't work out every time and I ended up going home without my deer for archery season but that's okay because in my opinion I think all my good luck rubbed off and Kelly and uh, if there's a good place for it to go that was it <laughs>